This is Dr. Holt. I want to go over a couple of the web assigned problems um, the students are having trouble with. This one, I, bl I believe this is number five. Um, this one you have d plus 4a minus 5c plus 5b is equal to zero. All that means is this. If you sum up the i components of this, or the i hat components, you must equal zero. If you sum up the j hat components, you must equal zero. So, you would write this as d i hat. Now we have plus 4 times 3.9 i hat and then minus, let me get this, minus 5 times c which is 8.6 i and you should make these hats and then we got plus 5 times b which is 3.9 i hat and you set that equal to zero. Now we'll go down and we'll do this with the calculator. Four times 3.9 it gives me 15.6. So I got d i hat plus 15.6 minus five times 8.6 it gives me 43. Five times 3.9 gives me 19.5 is equal to zero. Now just solve for this. So I get 15.6 minus 43 plus 19.5. That gives me a value of, on this side, it's negative 7.9. So di must equal to 7.9i. Now we do the, the J's just exactly the same way. We got D J hat plus 4 times um, the, what was it, A, A, that'd be 8.3 J hat. And then we got minus 5, and we're doing C, that's 6.1. And then we have uh, plus 5 times b, and that's 8.6. And we set that equal to 0. So now we do this calculator 4 times 8.3. And that's going to give me d j hat uh, plus 33 to j hat 5 times 6.1 minus 30.5 and then 5 times 8.6 is 43 nice 43 I should have put a J over here too oops let's change that okay we solve for that 33.2 minus 30.5 plus 43. That gives me 45.7. So then di must equal to the negative 45.7 to make that go to zero. So we got this, and we got this. And you notice that matches the answer here and here. Now it says express your answer in terms of magnitude. Well, the magnitude is pretty easy, isn't it, right? All you have to do is take, using Pythagorean Theorem, let me make that better. Let's just do 7.9 squared plus 45.7 squared. Make that negative too, because that was negative to start with. Um, and then make sure I just drop the negative squared. And when you get that, you should get 46.4. Okay. Now to make sure you get this angle, then always draw on the direction they go. We know that this one is going to be. Oh, I'll draw a vector here. Sorry. 
we know the uh, I is going to the right. We know this one's going down. I can draw this straight. And now if you want to get this angle here, I would make this 45.7. I would make this 7.9. Take the inverse tangent of 45.7 divided by 7.9, and now you're going uh, clockwise, so it has to be a negative angle, and you should get negative 80.2. So that's how you do that problem. All right, this problem here, um, this problem is really very easy. A lot of you just don't know how to write in unit vector. Now, this is unit vector, not unit vector notation. And all a unit vector means is the magnitude is, not the magnitude, but in the direction of the magnitude is going to be equal to 1. Or you could say it this way. If I draw a 3, or actually I'll just draw a 2-dimensional. All it means is you have a vector here that does have a length of 1. And then if you mu multiply the magnitude times this, you'll get the actual magnitude of the vector. So let me just go through the problem. I think you'll understand it a little bit better. And it's not really hard at all. Um, this one says make it negative a. So we'll write it in unit vector first. So negative a is just going to equal to uh, negative 3.3i, oh, and that'll be negative 5.1. That's hat, hat. Okay, that's in unit vector notation. Now, if I want to write it, make this as a unit vector, all I have to do is divide by the magnitude of these two vectors. And the magnitude of these two vectors would just be. 3.3 squared plus 5.1 squared. So I do that, 3.3 squared plus 5.1 squared, and I get 36.9. And I take the square root of that. And that gives me a value of about 6.075. So all I have to do is take 6.075, 6.075. Now if I take 3.3 .3 divided by that value, I will get 0.543. So that gives me negative 0.543i. And then we do this one, 5.1 divided by, let me scroll up, that gives me 0.839, or 0 0.840 actually. And I'll just do one of these problems, but that gives you the value right there. So again, all you have to do is make them negative, and then divide it by the magnitude of that vector, and that gives it in unit vector. That's not unit vector notation, that's unit vector form. Okay? Best of luck with these problems.